Spirit this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. As we set this atmosphere, Lord. Oh, my God. We thank you. We plead the blood on the parking lot. In the name of Jesus. The blood of Jesus in the back room, in this sanctuary. Hallelujah. On every chair, God. Oh, the blood of Jesus in every corner. In the name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord. We thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, oh, waking us up, God. Uh, oh, we give you the glory. We are clothed in our right mind, mighty God. Uh, we bless your name, God. Uh, we come blessing your name uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, hallelujah, you are worthy to be praised. Uh, hallelujah, from the rising of the sun uh, to the going down of the same. Uh, his name is Jesus, uh, and he is worthy to be praised. Uh, his name is Jesus. Uh, Hallelujah, he carries all weight. Uh, he holds all power uh, in his name, my God. Uh, we come no other but to lift him up. Uh, hallelujah, uh, to you be the glory, Jesus. Uh, hallelujah, you come, my God, uh, to destroy the works of the enemy. And we bless your name. Uh, we enter in, mighty God. Uh, hallelujah, with a repentant heart. Uh, forgive us, Heavenly Father, uh, for anything that came. Uh, hallelujah, to throw us off, uh, hallelujah throw us out of line uh, to destroy our peace uh, hallelujah my God uh, we come with a forgiving heart uh, up on this morning uh, hallelujah forgive our enemies uh, and forgive us that we my God uh, could have offended up on today uh, but to you be the glory uh, we thank you Jesus uh, we bless your name uh, we thank you Lord uh, and we give you the praise uh, we bless your mighty God God, uh, we bless you with the hand claps. Uh, we bless you with our stones. Uh, we bless you with our hand waves. Uh, we bless you with the praise. Uh, hallelujah. Stir up our spirit uh, upon this morning. Uh, we cover our apostle by the blood. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, we speak straight to his body. Uh, and we cover that mind by the blood. Uh, we cover first lady by the blood. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, we cover our minister staff. Uh, call it Hallelujah, in Jesus' mighty name, uh, we cover you, Minister Young. Uh, be healed by the blood. Uh, we speak to you right now. Uh, hallelujah, you shall live and not die. Uh, declare the works of the Lord. Uh, Yo, have you not a shy. Hands of God, uh, be up on our minister today. Uh, in Jesus' mighty name, uh, hallelujah, be up on Sister Linda. Uh, be up on our brothers, God. Uh, by the blood, uh, we need your power, God. Uh, be up on the women and children uh, by the blood uh, touch them right now God uh, let it all line up Jesus uh, we thank you Lord uh, we are not defeated up on this morning uh, we thank you Jesus uh, we speak with victory uh, we speak that it is done uh, we speak healing right now uh, in the name of Jesus uh, we speak God uh, that you come on in uh, we welcome your mighty God uh, to have your way uh, hallelujah rain on us uh, rain on us uh, lift us up again uh, cover the word Lord uh, hallelujah will uh, come forth in power uh, we receive the word uh, we can't live without it uh, in Jesus name uh, we thank you Jesus uh, for miracles signs and wonders uh, we thank you Lord uh, hallelujah for his working uh, the word is doing the work uh, trouble our Holy Ghost Lord uh, trouble 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 uh, we thank you Lord uh, Thank you for the Holy Ghost. Uh, cover those that may be watching uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, cover those, Lord, uh, that may visit upon this morning. Uh, let them get what they receive. Uh, we come receiving. Uh, hallelujah by the blood. Uh, we come to receive. Uh, we come to pour. Uh, we come to get, Lord, uh, all that we need in Christ Jesus. Uh, you are our help. Uh, you are our help. Uh, he is our deliverer. Uh, in Jesus mighty name uh, deliver it for the young people uh, deliver us out of our sins uh, deliver out of weakness uh, thank you Jesus uh, thank you Jesus uh, hallelujah you on the move Lord uh, you make no mistakes uh, and we glorify you uh, do it for the marriages uh, do it for the single people Lord uh, do it Lord uh, in
in the name of Jesus. Have your way in your great and mighty name. Whatever you want to do, Lord, we want to stand in agreement. Let us be in unity upon the day, Lord. Bind the hands of the enemy that stick his head up. We put him under our feet. We put him under our feet. We won't be away on the service, but we come to lift you up. We come to lift you up. We usher your spirit like never before, mighty God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, mighty God. We bless your name. We bless your name. We bless your name. We come running for you. We come, my God, with our hands lifted up. We surrender, Lord. We surrender anything that's not like God. We give it to you, Lord. We throw it at your feet, Lord. Hallelujah, God. We thank you, Lord, for being our overcomer of the day. Thank you for the blood. Thank you for the blood. Thank you for the blood for destroying weights. Thank you for the blood for crushing that enemy. Thank you for the blood destroying every yoke. We thank you right now, Heavenly Father. Well, we bless your name. We bless your name, Lord. Get up in every praise. Bring down even strange fire in his strange praise. Bring it down by the blood. Glory to God. We love upon you today. We love upon you today. Come on and bless his name. Bless his name. Bless his name. We bless your Lord. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah for the push. Well, we thank you for bringing us this for. Hallelujah. Come on and praise him. Come on and lift him up. Lift him up. Lift up his holy name. We love you, Lord. Oh, we thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, Jesus. Oh, we seal this prayer by the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. And no weapon formed against this ministry upon the day will prosper. Oh, my God. We come to receive the word in Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're going to call you up, Sister Linda, for praise and worship in Jesus' name. Come on, saints of God. Can you bless him? Can you Call on his name. His name is Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. We love you, Lord. We love you. We love you. We love you, Lord. We bless you. We bless you, Lord. Thank you this morning. Oh, glory, glory, glory. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for your healing power. In Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Glory to God. Thank you. Come on and praise him. Thank you, thank you. Come on, let's give him a praise. Sister Linda going to lead us in testimony. Oh, but the Spirit of the Lord say the blood still work. The blood still work. The blood still work. Oh, the blood still works. The blood still work in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. It reaches to the highest mountain, to the lowest of valleys. The blood still work. The blood still work. He said, just say the blood. The blood of Jesus, it has all power. The blood of Jesus, it can shake the dead. The blood of Jesus, hallelujah, right now over the atmosphere. The blood of Jesus over that back room. The blood of Jesus over the minister staff. The blood of Jesus over the apostle. The blood of Jesus over our brothers. The blood of Jesus over our sisters. The blood of Jesus over our children. The blood still work. Say that you're no match. You're no match for the blood. The Lord said, Apply the blood, apply the blood against every deaf angel, apply the blood against every assignment, apply my blood and see that it works. We decree the blood, we decree the blood upon our bodies, we decree the blood upon our minds, 
We decree the blood up against strongholds. We decree the blood in the name of Jesus. Say to the Lord, rebuke you. We thank you right now. We thank you right now. We thank you right now. The blood, the blood, the blood. It'll drive out spirits. The blood, the blood, the blood. It'll make them behave. The blood, the blood, the blood. It'll restore your relationship with God. The blood, the blood, the blood. Oh, we decree it right now. Oh, the blood over this service. Word comes out, Satan, the blood over this service, loose your hold. Every foul spirit, unclean spirit, loose your hold right now. Or every dry dull, any spirit that want to snuff out the anointing. You coming after that anointing, but you know you can't handle the blood. You ain't stealing the word. You ain't sitting on the word. Every brick spirit, every weight, every anger spirit, every contrary spirit, in the name of Jesus, every backsliding spirit, in the name of Jesus, come out wherever you are, and we apply the blood of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. He said, apply the blood while she was praying. You know, boy said, kind of now. We driving him away with the blood. He know what the blood is. He know what the blood is. Apply it on sickness. Apply it right now. In the name of Jesus. You ain't still in this service. I'm aware of you. Lose your hope. What about Sheke? Not, 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 ya. You can't handle the blood. You know that by now. The blood still works. The blood still works. May the fire rest upon these intercessors. May the fire rest upon Minister Casey. May the fire rest upon our leader. May the fire touch Brother Robert. May the fire touch Brother Sean. Touch these men. Touch them, touch them, touch them. Where they can cut off anything that ain't like God. Sever the head of every Jezebel spirit. Sever it. Oh, yes. You better not be ignorant of Satan devices. If you smell something ain't right, we're going to call it out and plead the blood. When the Lord said, he said, to, he said, call my blood. We bring the blood on scene. When the blood show up, everything got a halt. Everything come under the blood. One drop made the dead get up and walk. When it hit the earth, they got up after, got up after great. Jesus. We continue on, but ain't no song going to rock me before the blood. No, I can do it out the song. Well, we're going to play it, but I'm going to tell you what. We're going to be in spirit and the truth. My God. My God. He said, just say my blood. You don't have to wrestle with it. Just say my blood. Devil recognizes it. Hey, 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 the blood upon you, Sister Linda. The virtue of God. Oh, be made whole <laughs> in your praise. Be made whole in your worship. Be made whole when you read the scripture. Oh, let it do the honor, let it honor God when you read it. He had no more second in any side. My God, my God, my God. We're a lively stone. Oh God, can these bones live? Yes. We thank you. We dare not give many old things. Oh, God. Oh, yes. Yes. Y'all supposed to be in consecration. It should be a lighter feeling. What about bullshit? You should overcome that enemy. Yes. Come on, come on. Say, finally, my brother. Be strong in the Lord and the power of his might. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Come on, y'all. Make case. The man of God coming. Yes. We, we magnify. We magnify. We magnify. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, yeah. Who is the king of glory? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. The enemy likes to come to steal, but he's a liar. Come on, come on. We got the victory. We got the victory. Hallelujah. We thank God for a day to praise him. We magnify, we lift them up. Come on, lift them up one more time. Come on, come on, let's lift them up. Let's glorify them. God, you got it. We got breath in our body. Oh, we clothe in our right mind. Oh, God, everything probably ain't going right, but I tell you what, we give Caesar what's healed, and when it comes to God, we got to give God what's healed. In the mighty name of Jesus. 
We thank you, praise you right now. We're getting ready for the best part. We're getting ready for the best part. We're getting ready for that word. Oh, we thank God for this anointed man of God. Oh, I give God the glory. I don't play with his man servant. Whether it be a woman or a man of God, but especially my very own. Now watch me love my soul. I don't play with it. Oh, hallelujah. Come on, we're getting ready to break them up. Oh, but we letting God do what he want to do in the atmosphere. Stir it, stir it, stir it. Break it, break, break, and destroy everything that ain't like you, God. We thank God for none other than our very own coming up. The angel of the house, Apostle Wyndham, I bless him. I thank God for him, none other than Apostle Wyndham. Y'all clap your hands, and y'all let us shout unto the Lord. Give God praise. Amen. Come on, give the Lord some praise today. Amen. Father, we, we come before you this morning. Thank you for another day. Thank you for another service. Thank you for another time to break the bread of life. God, we pray this morning you speak to us. Don't leave, let us leave the way we came. Thank you. I thank you in advance for the glory that's about to be revealed. Thank you for the power of God that's about to flow in this house. Thank you for the rivers of water that is flowing as I speak right now. Oh, God, we come to make a point of contact. Oh, speak to us, God. Get down into the hearts of man. Get down into the minds of the, of the man. What the Bible said, the spirit know the things of the man. He know what's in the man. The Holy Ghost knows. Speak to us. Oh, God, make it known to what needs to be said. We thank you already. And we give you glory. Come on, give the Lord some praise. You may be seated. You may be seated tonight, today. Hey, Amen. How many glad you saved this morning? Sanctified and filled with the Holy Ghost. Hey, Amen. I thank him this morning. Hey, Amen. I, I give honor to the Lord Jesus. He is a worthy of all our praise. Y'all could do better than that. Come on. Amen. I thank God for our first lady, Wendell. Thank God, amen, for our minister, Casey. Amen. We praying for you, man of oh God. God is able to do anything but fail. You just hear that word. God is meeting you where you are right now. We thank God for our ministers. We thank God for our intercessors. Thank God for the house of faith. Thank God for the body of Christ. Amen. You may be seated this morning. Amen. I thank God, amen, to stand before you. I wasn't supposed to be preaching this morning. Amen. But circumstances and situations, um, amen, uh, created the situation you know, for me to be here. And I, I love it. Amen. I love preaching the word. Amen. I want to talk to you this morning. Amen. It might not be what you want to hear, but it's all right. Amen. And I thank God, amen, for my first lady, woman of God. Stand it. Woman of God. I thank God for my woman of God. Amen. I thank God for her. Uh, let's turn your Bibles to the book of St. Luke. Luke's Gospel. Praise the Lord. I, I had a couple of sermons and I was just betwixt between, you know, what he wanted me to say. And I'm going to go with this one, but I believe God's going to incorporate them together. Hallelujah. Amen. Through his help, we're going to do this today. Amen. The book of St. Luke's Gospel, chapter 17. Uh, let's consider verses 17 down to 22. Amen. Ooh, I feel an anointing. I feel an anointing for some deliverance. Somebody needs some deliverance. You need, you need some deliverance in here. Oh, come on, throw your hand up. Mm. Amen. Luke 7, uh, 7, chapter 7, verse 18 says, And the disciples of John showed him. Uh, actually, before we before we read that, I, I'm sorry. Go to go to um, Galatians first. And then we're going to come back to Luke 17. So hold your spot in Luke 17. Let me see. Galatians, I believe. Uh, let me see. I believe it's chapter 4. Galatians chapter 4. Let's look at verse 11 down to 16 and then we're going to go back to Luke chapter 7. Alright? Galatians chapter 4 verses 
um, 11 down to 16. Boy, I feel the Holy Ghost. I don't, I, I, listen, I, I ain't determined by how y'all respond to these. I tell you, I feel them up here in my spirit, first lady. Amen. He said, look what he said in Galatians 4 and 11. I am afraid of you, said Paul. He's talking to the Galatians. Lest I have bestowed up on you labor in vain. I'm afraid that I wasted my time. I'm afraid that I, I hope I didn't waste my time. He said, brother, I, I beseech you, be, be as I am, for I am as you are. You have not injured me at all. He said, ye know how through infirmity of the flesh I preached the gospel unto you at the first. No matter what I felt, how I felt in my body, he said, I, I still got up and preached. I was sick. I was going through in my body. Things you knew about, things you didn't know about, but he said, I still preach the gospel unto you at the first. So when you first met me, you knew what I was about. <laughs> and my temptation, which was in my flesh. Now, temptation ain't always a sin or something. A temptation can be a sickness. It could be a, something you're going through. Uh, you, just, you despise me not, nor rejected me. But receive me as an angel of God, even as Christ Jesus. See how they was? Man, listen, but you received me respite, in spite of what I was dealing with, in spite of what I what was going on. You didn't reject me. You didn't despise me. But you received me even as an angel of God. <laughs> even as Christ Jesus. If I was you, you, if, if I was Christ Jesus standing here, amen, you received me the same way. Amen. I have to rebuke you, in other words, and make you not make me an idol. Amen. Don't come to me. Go to God. Praise the Lord. Amen. But I, I was so special in your eyes until, amen, you received me as an angel of God, even as Jesus Christ. Then he said in verse 15, where then is the blessedness you spoke of? After all that receiving, after all of that um, honoring me, Paul was saying, where is the blessedness you spoke of? For I bear you record. He said at the time, if I had, if it had been possible, you would have plucked your eye, your um, plucked out your own eyes and then given them to me. If I needed your eyes, you would have let me have yours. That's how much you respected me. How, what happened to the bliss that you spoke of? What happened to that reception that you once gave me? Oh, but Paul said, I know what it was. I know exactly what happened. Verse 16 said, am I therefore become your enemy? Because I tell you the truth. That's why. You got offended with me because I told you the truth. All that blessing and reception went out the window when I told you the truth. Oh, y'all quiet. That's okay. Luke chapter 7. Amen. The truth got you upset. The truth got you offended. The truth got you, got your, uh, your feathers ruffled. Man, Luke chapter 7, chapter 7, I said 17 at first, it's chapter 7, uh, verse 18, sorry, Luke chapter 7, verse 18, ready, all right, give you a little time, it's my fault, all right, now, the Bible, verse 17, let's go down, verse 17, and his, in this room of him went forth through all, throughout all Judah, and throughout all the region of round about. The miracles he worked, the rumors spread it. And the disciples of John showed him of all these things. So John was in prison at this time. Amen. And people wonder, how did John know about all these miracles that Jesus was doing? Because remember, the rumor of him went forth throughout all Judah. And so in, in, in these prisons back then, the only people that can help you was your, was your family and friends. Bring your food, bring your... And so John's disciples went back and told John all the things that was going on. Amen. The um, reason why John was in prison because John rebuked Herod for sleeping with his brother's wife. Amen. So now John's on the chopping block. His head about to be, be um, beheaded. John been in prison over a year now, about a year now at this time. And so the disciples of John showed him of all these things. And John calling unto him two of his disciples sent them to Jesus saying, Are you he that should come? Oh, look we for another. Should we expect someone else? Man, you've been in jail this long. Now you're wondering. And then are you the one? Or should we come look for another? When the men will come unto him, they said, John, John Baptist had sent 
us unto you. Now, John's disciples is talking to Jesus. John told us to ask you a question, Jesus. Are you he that should come? Or we look for another. And in that same hour, in that same hour, while John is questioning, in that same hour, he cured many of their infirmities and plagues and of evil spirits and unto many that were blind he gave sight <laughs> then Jesus answering said unto them go your way and tell John what things you have seen and heard how that the blind see the lame walk the lepers are clean the deaf hear the dead are raised to the, to the poor the gospel is preached Bless is he whosoever should not be offended in me. I'm going to build my thought from verse 22. There's a few lines from verse 22. He said, then Jesus answered and said, go your way and tell John what things you have seen and heard. My thought today is to tell you, get over it. Get over it. Oh, y'all quiet this day. Get over it. Now, before I start talking to you, I want to show you something. Uh, uh, John, just, just real quick, hold your spot there. Hey, man, let's, let's see what John mine is first before I talk. Let's just look at John. Look, look at St. John chapter 1 and verse 32. We see here right here that John the Baptist, he is in prison. Hey, man, he's in a situation that, uh, you know, Jesus didn't come and get him out. So now he got offended. He wouldn't do what Jesus asked him to do. And now he's questioning, are you the one? Or shall we look for another? Are you the one, Jesus? Or shall we look for another? I thought you'd come to set the captives free. I thought you'd come to release those in prison that's bound in prison out. Now, now are you the one? But now you're asking this question. Uh, but prior, you didn't have no question. Prior... Uh, you, uh, I'm going to reverse that. Now you're questioning Jesus' authority. Prior, you weren't questioning his authority. Prior, it wasn't a question, it was a statement. Y'all quiet, quiet. His questioning, he's questioning Jesus now, but prior to his questioning, he stood up on his statement of faith. Uh, so what, what I'm about to read is going to sound like two different people. Look, look at St. John chapter 1 verse 32 the same John said and John by record saying I saw the spirit descending from heaven like a dove and it abode upon him who did it abide upon? Jesus, this same Jesus that you are asking is he the one but you saw the Holy Ghost descending from heaven like a dove upon him and in the bottom of him. And I knew him not, but he that sent me to baptize with water. The same said unto me, who was he talking about? Jesus. Upon whom thou shalt see the Spirit descending and remaining upon him. The same as he which baptized with the Holy Ghost. So he's saying this same Jesus. Amen. I baptize with water. But John is saying this Jesus, he's going to baptize you with the Holy Ghost. And he's going to baptize you with fire. And look what John saw in verse 34. And I saw, I saw, John said, I saw and bear record that this what is the son of God but now you asking are you the one but you just said here I bear record that this is the son of God but now you're saying shall we look for another oh my God and again, the next day after John stood and two of his disciples and looking up on Jesus as he walked, look what he said. Behold, behold the Lamb of God. Now you just told me who he was. But now you have changed what you said about him because you're in a situation he wouldn't get you out of. And a lot of people, you have changed. 
you are not like you used to be. Uh -huh. What changed them, Pastor? One word. Offended. And God said, that's a spirit of offense walking in this building today. We are quiet today. Oh, uh, in spite of what you experienced when you got saved. Your situation have caused you to change. I wish I had a church here. Uh, because when God showed John this revelation, he wasn't in prison. He was John was about bringing on the Messiah on the scene. He was about being the forerunner. Amen. He was about God using him. But when it came to, when it came, uh, when John's ministry came toward an end, amen, it looked like he didn't know how to let it go. And some of y'all don't know how to let it go. Hey, I can't get nobody. When his enemy, his ministry was coming to an end, it was his, it was God's will for John to be locked up in prison. It was God's will for John to be beheaded. It was God's will for John's head to come off, for the new head to come on, which was Jesus. Oh, I can't get. Ah, he wasn't ready for change I can't get nobody and some of y'all in here you started out so good you started out so faithful you started out so sincere you started out so lovely I can't get nobody but your situation your failures, your sin your circumstance has changed your spirit oh but God said why you change God said it doesn't change what I do Cause you ain't the same no more Don't, Does not mean I'm not the same Yesterday, today And forevermore I wish I had a church And God said because of that It's time to get over it uh, I got some work to do in this. I, 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 I didn't think I was going to preach this morning But it, it's for me to bring this word this morning And I heard a word from the Lord this morning and I heard God said there are people that is offended with you because of the truth that you have revealed about them. Y'all yeah, don't hear the preacher. I can't. God, God said, Sister Linda, he said, some of the whole shaman, your total bullshit. He said, some of them are offended you because of the truth you have revealed about them. Amen. It wasn't about the neighbor. It's not what I said about your sister. It wasn't the same, but it's what I said to you. That's why Paul said you have, I've become your enemy because I've told you the truth. Amen. John was acting like an enemy because Jesus amen was telling him the truth because of how you feel. Amen. The work of God is still going to go on. And some of y'all God said you are offended. And I heard God say to me, uh, he said, their offense is so subtle, you won't be able to see them or see it with the naked eye. He said, and they act like they're not offended with you. They, they praise the Lord like they're not offended with the truth. They shout like they're not offended with the truth. They testify like they're not offended with the truth. Amen. But something inside of them is offended. And God said, if you were to see it with the naked eye, you would be deceived by their religious osity and how they sit among my church as my people and said amen to the word of God as though it's a lovely song. But God said it's time to get over your offended spirit. I was trying to throw your hand up in here tonight and give God Yeah, you're offended because I rebuked I rebuked your lifestyle. I can't get out of here. Rebuke your extramarital affairs. I rebuke your lying spirit. I rebuke, hallelujah, your backsliding ways. I get got mad because I revealed what you was doing in the darkness. And because of your rebuke, you are taking your own experience out of context. My God, I wish I had a church. What you mean is out of context. Because what you, the way you are, the, 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 the offense on you, is not in the same context with the delivered you and the, the person that got saved you.
I can't get nobody because when you got saved, you was like John the Baptist. I met a man that told me the truth. I met a man that uh, didn't compromise with the faith. He preached the word of God. I went down to that altar and God filled me with the Holy Ghost under that ministry. This is who my grandma told me about. My grandma, my granddaddy told me about this preacher. And I finally got here. And my God, when I got to that church, my life changed. Everything turned around. But now that you are in a situation, now that you have been revealed, now that you have been rebuked, corrected, exhorted, I can't get nobody. Now that testimony has changed. Now you're wondering, is that the pastor? Or should I look for another? Or should I find another church? Because you can't have your way in the house of God. Oh, but God told me to tell you, it's time to get over it. Whether you hear or not, the dead still going to be raised. The blood and eyes still going to... I can't, I can't preach like this this morning but I feel the Holy Ghost this morning y'all better throw your hand up and tell the Lord huh? I see you, let me tell you how you know huh? what I'm saying is right huh? cause you can feel a different shift in the spirit ah, because somebody is sitting in a spirit of offense mm. your statement of faith has turned to a questioning of your faith. I wish I had a church. Your statement. See, see, when, 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 when there's authority in the house, two authorities can't run in one place. John the Baptist had to leave before Jesus took over. And you got people want to walk in authority that you ain't ready for. You want to walk in a power that you ain't had to have a shot at. Oh, you better sit down and listen, get over it. I can't get nobody. There's only one pastor in the church. Yeah, I wish I had a church up in here. And sometimes you're going to question his authority. You're going to question him whether he's the one. Because you got offended with the authority, with the authority that you lust after. You lust after prophesying. You lust after having a good, a healing and miracle ministry. You lust after the intercessory the team. Yeah. God told me to tell you, get on it. Should I look for another because he's not letting me use my gifts? Should I look for another because he's not letting me prophesy? Shall I look for another? I'm bored. I don't ever leave testimony, sir. I'm bored. Shall I look for another church? You offended. Because I let somebody else do something you, you want to do. Get over it. it. Ain't about you anyway. Come on, John the Baptist. I know God used you. But if he got one, if he could if he if he wanted to, he could have used somebody else, but he chose you. So don't get beside yourself. I can't get nobody up in here. Oh yeah, but hear what I'm saying. Yeah, you gotta know your season. You gotta know your time. Don't get offended with the preacher because your time had not come or maybe your time might be up But don't get offended with the preacher because he's not doing or saying what he wants you to say See they could be offended and you can't see what the naked eye first lady Because he John the Baptist was in prison so Jesus could not see him with the naked eye. He couldn't see what he was doing with the naked eye because he was somewhere else. And see, you could be right here, but somewhere else in the spirit. I can't get nobody. And with the natural eye, I can't see where you are in the spirit. I wish I had a church where to throw your hand up and give God some praise up in here. And I hear God says some of you ain't coming out your prison until you confess that hidden sin that you got hurt here under the bottom of the cell that you in right now. Y'all better hear what I'm saying. It's about here hiding some sin. I'm going to do some preaching today. I'm going to do a teaching call. This secret is killing me. I was going to preach that. I've come to tell you, God said you in that prison and you getting offended with the preacher. But I'm revealing what your secret is. I can't get no party here. God said come out. God said come out. God said get delivered. God said stop sinning in the dark. God said stop sinning when the light is out. God said us. 
Let me calm down there. You're offended because somebody told you the truth. And I learned something, Sister Linda. When people start acting different with the leaders, they got offended with you. you wonder why their spirit changed. You used to be so, so welcoming. So loving. Y'all quiet today. So sensitive. To suddenly now you notice that's a drawback. Y'all hear me? That's a questioning. Not a question, a questioning. A question is how do you stay so strong? How do you, okay, good, I could take that. The question is, man, would you always be there? Yes, I'd be there. But questioning now. Uh, should, I, should I get that close to him or her? Because I know they see me. And because I wouldn't get you out, your jail of, of, of lies with a lie by telling you you're okay while you're still lying. You get offended with the preacher. I wish y'all quieted here. And I heard the Lord saying, I was going to preach. I'm going to preach it later. God said, this, I'm going to tell you what I hear in the spirit. God said, there's too much secret sin in this house. Boy, it's quiet today. There's sin in the house. Now y'all hear me. And see, and, and this, this offense is so subtle until I can't see it with the naked eye. Because you're in your prison. Boy, it's quiet. You are in your prison. But notice who John t spoke with first about his condition. He spoke to his disciples first. He spoke to his disciples about his, 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 his uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Unsatisfaction. Spoke with his wife about his condition and how he was feeling and how Jesus should do this. And I promise you, when somebody's offended with the preacher, they're going to try to find somebody else that's close to them and mess their minds up like theirs. They don't want you to be close to the one that have the truth because they don't want you to take the side of the one that have the truth. I can't get nobody because to bring me home with you going to make it more hell in your life. I can't get nobody for you to go home with my spirit oh God, with the spirit of the leader in our house where deception is. It's going to make it worse for them at home. So what I got to do is make sure you leave that pastor's church, spirit at the church. Let me get in your ear and tell you my complaint and spoil your spirit and blind you from seeing what I'm really dealing with. I can't get nobody. Watch out for this manipulation spirit. What's wrong with you? No, nothing. What's wrong with you? It's the plate. It's the, it's the dishes. What's wrong with you? It's the house. No, wait a minute. It's more than a house, baby. It's something going on in your spirit. It's something you hide. And I can guarantee you what you hide has been exposed behind the pulpit. That's why you don't want to bring it up at home. That's why you want to bring it up at house side. I want to bring that same spirit in my cover of lies. Set the lie. Don't die bring that preacher home. Oh, y'all don't like me. Because he or she told the truth. And I can tell when people have got offended with me. And I can tell when they've been there a long time. I don't have to see you with the naked eye. I see you with the spirit eye. I can't get nobody here. And if you didn't have nobody covering up for you, I can ask the people in your house. I can't get nobody, but I'm pretty sure they got your back. So they won't tell me what you said. I can't get So I really can't ask about in your house. Y'all don't like me. Yeah. Now, 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 now your, your statement of faith is out of context now. My God, this, I can't get done. Because you in a situation where, hey amen, I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't compromise with you. And see, the Lord said, it's not, it's not what they say to you or say openly in the congregation that exposes their offended spirits. But it's the things that they say about you while they're going through the very situations that you didn't compromise the truth with them about. Oh, 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 Y'all don't like what I just said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
It's not what they say to you or say openly in the congregation that exposes their offended spirits. But it's the things that they say about you while they are going through the very situation that you didn't compromise the truth with them about. So in other words, in other words, why are they offended? It's not what they say on the outside. Praise the Lord saying, pray the Lord, think of me. Okay, it ain't that. But, but it's the things they offended about. It's the, it's the sin that I wouldn't compromise with them about. It's the sin that I had to cry out and spread out. I had to lift up my voice like a trumpet to show you. That's the thing that you all offended with me about. That's the thing. That's in the conversation. That's where the, the offense is. And so your conversation with your family and friends. Let me tell you, when your family come to you or your friend come to you and say, he didn't have to say that like that. They got offended. And they're trying to bring you in, John the Baptist disciple. They're trying to bring you in. I've got to call for you in your misery. I can't get it. Let me tell you something. If a person is in sin, I don't care. You can bring them flowers. You can bring them a bouquet. You can bring them chocolate. You can buy them a car house. It's not going to satisfy that wicked spirit. That's no peace to the wicked, said the Lord. I don't care how much you try to change, make them happy. Until they get rid of that wicked spirit, that's nothing you can do, said the Lord. Try to find my fire. I want someone to be preaching like this this morning. But I feel it fresh and on it. I come to tell you, it's time to come out your offended spirit. Just repent, man. I don't know what this means, but I'm going to put this out there. God said, some of the severest judgment on judgment day. Hear this word. It's not going to come by so much what you say, and it, which it will. Not so much by what you do. But some people's severest judgment is going to come by what they write down in their diary. What they write down in their journals. Because the real you is written now. And what's in your journal will be written at the day of judgment. Because there's no secret that won't be revealed. Uh, y'all, that's quiet. Uh, so, so that thing that you hiding from nobody to see, God said, will be made manifest and openly for everybody to hear on the day of judgment. Boys. So God is saying, what, John? People, what are you writing in your diary in your jail? What experiences have you wrote down that you want nobody to see? I just feel better when I write it. Good. Because it's written on paper. You, you really wrote a case against you. Because God going to bring that diary back up on judgment. Shh. That journal. And some of them journals got hot movies in them. Your life is like a hot movie. Oh, that's God. You, 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 the things you got in that journal, you can write a movie about that. Boy, let me, I'm getting myself in trouble. I wasn't supposed to be here today, up here. Oh, oh, oh. oh I feel the Holy Ghost. Woo. God, hey, God said, come on in. I see what you're written. And God said what you're written tell you a lot by why you're offended with the word. Because the word is getting in your business. Yeah? All right. Number two. Thank you. Another thing is not going to so much be exposed. I mean, it will be exposed. Yo, what you say openly, openly, what you do openly, what you write secretly. And another thing will be revealed on the day of judgment is the people whispered in your ear. The stuff you just let just sit there and you didn't rebuke it. God, God said, I'm going I'm to get you for other people's words sitting in your spirit. I can't get nobody. Other people's words controlling you concerning the man and the woman of God. I'm going to deal with you for letting. Oh, y'all don't. All right. First lady, can I get some water, please? Yeah, yeah. Huh. God said, you, it's an offended spirit. And it's not it's not this offended spirit is not justified because the truth was told out of truth and honesty it was justifiable truth that told you the truth and now you can't you can't handle it now you're upset now you listen to other people that's why you got to be careful who you bring the church with you because 
some folks are witches. Some folks got more discernment than you. Holy Ghost wasn't drawing them. It was a witch in them drawing them. They didn't come to church for them. They came to church for you. Oh, y'all don't hear me. They came to church for you to make you offended with the truth to get you out. Y'all yeah, don't like me. They know your background. They know you're spiritual. They know, they know you're spiritual, and they feel like that you are being contained here because your gift's too big to be in a ministry that got order. So they wish out of them say, man, you got a you got a spirit in you, boy. You can you can boy, you can make money from that. You you can help people with that. And you're under them divine restrictions. And so that's a spirit. And when they got them kind of spirits, they'll subtly tell you things. And when you are not spiritual enough, you you spiritual, but you're not spirit you're not spiritual. You you're spiritual, but you're not spiritual mature. So here you start biting off the witch. Now your spirit start changing when a word come to rebuke you. Because witches don't like rebuke. Now you picked up a witch spirit. I can't get You don't want nobody to put no order on you. You don't want nobody to correct you when you're wrong. I can't cut. Listen, I got three words for you. Get over it. Get over it. Get over it. What's quiet this morning? Because they wouldn't compromise. No compromise. Wouldn't compromise with you. God says somebody in here, you are in a different battle at home now. God said there's a different battle going on at home. And you wondering what's going on. And the reason why you wondering what's going on, because you can feel something going on, but you can't really put it in words. That's why you wondering what's going on. It's no doubt in your spirit that something is going on. But in your spirit, it's a question mark, what's going on? Boy, I wish I had a church. I guess he got me up at the wrong time today. Uh -huh. now, now you wondering in your spirit, what's going on? Something in my house ain't right. I, I might, well, let me be the first to tell you, Joshua. It might be something hidden under your tent. I can't get nobody. It might be the accursed thing that's causing your family to get whooped. That's causing that sickness to hit your body. Could be that cursed thing that's causing your finances to draw up. I can't get nobody. Ah, God said, yes, you got to get down on your knee. And begin to pray, God, why am I losing these battles? Because you could have something in your, watch this, like John the Baptist in the prison. That curse thing has turned your house into a prison. You don't feel mobile in your house because something ain't right. You, 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 it's quiet. You, you, you don't feel comfortable in your house because something ain't right. I wish I had a church right I told you. Because hey, you know in prison, there's a certain time you can communicate. And there's a certain time you got to shut it down. Look like the communication ain't like it used to be. Look like the fellowship ain't like it used to be. I can't get nobody. We have child time, but child time ain't the way it used to be. I can't get nobody. You know why? Because Somebody's in a prison of lies. Huh? And you got mad at the preacher for telling you that. Y'all better throw your hand up. Huh? And give God. Mm. Boy, let me go home. Okay? Mm. You know something? I'm prophesying now. Or oh, I'm giving a word of knowledge. You know something ain't right. But don't be like Samson. Don't let your love blind you. To what's going on in your relationships don't lay your head in pleasure when something is out to kill you God I wish I had a church yeah to get your mind off what's going on let's go to the bedroom you know let's just have a little, little I know they get your mind off everything but even after the hundred time when you get up you still feel something it's trying to cut my hair. Somebody's trying to take my strength. Go ahead, throw your hand up. Ah, what I what I love is trying to kill me. Uh, what I cherish in this prison. 
is trying to take my locks, trying to make me go back on my vows. Samson, your lock shouldn't be cut. But because he was compromising with the enemy, put him to sleep. And too many hours of sleep. You know how to work. You are asleep, you land somewhere asleep, and you don't even know how much danger you're in. You are sleeping in the absolutely not only wrong time, but at the absolutely wrong place. This is not the time or place to be going to sleep spiritually. You got to be aware of what's going on. Listen, I love my wife. She loves me, but that's a discernment she got about me, too. If I wasn't right, she'll discern it. If somebody right ain't right about her, I would discern it. If something ain't right about you, I'm going to tell you because you know I will. But, uh, and why do God give us that discernment? Because He don't want us to lie down in the lap of danger. He got to let you know something ain't right because you're in danger and so are they. I don't want even trying to go here today. Huh? Huh? I said it's a secret sin. And they're trying to hide it with a church etiquette. Church, church ethics. And hide it with this, with this holy attire and sanctimonious spirit. But inside there are venomous, ravious wolves. With cravings that you can't see with a natural eye. And when you got them cravings in you, when you got that spirit in you, now you get offended with ministries like this because we preach deliverance. And we have to reveal, if we don't reveal it, God can't heal it. So we got to reveal what's in the secret for God to heal it in the open. I wish I, I feel somebody, I feel deliverance beginning to work right. Listen, that's an anointing. I, I feel something. Listen, I ain't gonna kill myself, but, but I feel God in this house. I, I feel the anointing so far above some of y'all in here. You know why it's far above you? This anointing far above you is looking down. And, it's, and see, when you're up high, you can see everything, right? He's up high, and he's telling me what he sees from a distance. I can't get no pot. John the Baptist had a hard time breaking his relationship with his doubts. And God said, before you go farther, that's some relationships you're going to have to break. Ooh. Because those doubts could be your friends. Your doubts could be your past relationships. That you ain't all the way broken off from yet. See, man is a spirit. And see, the body, you tell me one thing. But your spirit don't have to be here. It could be other places too. Your spirit could be connected to somebody else too. That person's out here, but by spirit, you still connected to them. And you might not have broken that relationship with them yet. That's your doubt. That's what's causing you to struggle with the anointing. That's what's causing you to reason with the power of God. That's what's causing you to bring your experience out of context. It's your spiritual connection with that doubt of whoever he or she may be. It's not broken with your saves, with your tambourine beating, shouting, stocking, skirt wearing, two-piece suit. I can't get no pie. Word, your spirit, your body is here, but your spirit. It's somewhere else. And so you get offended with the preacher. And with those that have an eye to discern, you get away from them. You ain't the same no more. How do I know you ain't the same? Listen, there's no way your spirit could be that different and your testimony ain't changed. He said, are you the one? Or shall we look for another? Watch this. That right there identifies to me, first lady, his spirit changed. When he said in John, you are the son of God, and Luke, he said, are you the one, or should we look for another? That means he had a change of spirit. And my question to you, how, how, how far have your spirit changed? Oh, God. He was a man of God when he was a prophesying cause and prophesying houses. 
But he wasn't a man of God no more when he told you I see backsliding on you. He's no more a man of God when he said I see adultery on you. He's no more a man of God when he told you God ain't pleased with you. God, God said when he told you God wasn't pleased with that TV show you watched last night before you got here this morning. You, you got offended when he pulled you out and told you that was before your eyes watched, man, baby. But now you got offended because he went into your jail and saw what you're doing in that prison. Since he wouldn't compromise and relate to your sensitivity in the prison, he's rebuking you about what you're doing in the prison. You get offended. Let me go home because I... Oh, I was trying to throw your hand up and give God some praise. God said, Lord, no. Let me go. You, you, you got to get over it. Get over your ex lover. Get over your alcoholism. Get over your drugs. Get over. But pertaining in this house. Get over some of the most sexual partners you nasty with. You ain't. That's why you can't go no farther because you ain't broke that demonic card of sex, sex card. You ain't let God, the cross, curse that junk in your blood. I wish I had a church. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bye, 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 bye. Shh. Yeah, I wish I had a church where I throw your hand up. <laughs> See, marriage is honorable and the bed is under foul. See, the marriage itself is honorable, but that don't mean the husband and wife can't be cursed. Because you get married, don't take away your curse. Yeah, I wish I had a church. He honors the marriage whether they stay saved or not. He's the one about to violate any, and no third party coming in. But when a third party come in and ain't gone, that's when the curse come up on the, come up on the couple, not the marriage. Marriage is a covenant or vow or, 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 or a covenant vow that God made between two men and women. You can't defile that. That's God. They defiled it. No, they didn't defile their marriage. They defiled themselves. When they split up, then they ended the marriage. And oh, God, here the Lord told me to ask you, ask yourself, has my marriage ended while we're still sleeping together? Has my marriage ended? We still got rings. We still got papers to show us that we're still married. But I want to know how somebody else intruded that broke the covenant. Brother Robert, I can't get no help this morning. It's quiet this morning. We better crank it up, brother, because I, I, I think this is getting too heavy for some of y'all. Yeah. My God, the marriage is good, but I want to know, I want to know if, if there's any curses in the participants of the marriage. I can't get nobody. Is there any curses? Is anybody bringing curses inside the house? Hey, my God, I wish I had a chamber. Oh, yeah, can I tell you how you do? Hey, man, that curse is coming from one partner to the next. Because the innocent partners is coming upon you when you start saying, I could do it the same thing that they are doing. I can, I can go get it. They want to play. I can do it too. Now you just as cursed as they are. I can't get nobody. Somebody got to be sanctified. Somebody got to be holy. Somebody. I wish I had somebody to throw your hand up. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hear the word of the Lord. I got to say it because I hear God in my sphere. And I'm throwing it out there because God told me to say it. Having a ceremonial renewal ain't going to fix it. But having an inner revival and an inner renewal is what's going to fix your marriage. I can't get nobody here. No best man, no bridesmaid. I can't get nobody gonna fix up the corruption in your heart. Set the light. Oh, let me go home. Okay. Well, first lady, I guess I, I guess I'm a little too high for some of y'all today. Cause, yeah. Yeah, he said all that. They ain't for the that, that natural ceremony. Ain't for to fix that inner curse. Ain't for to get that man out your bed. Ain't for to get that spirit spouse out your house. Ceremony for to get Ichabus out your bed. 
A ceremony ain't finna get Icarus out your dreams. I can't get no pizza. A ceremony ain't finna get that soul tie broken. You gotta come to the power of God. You gotta come to the power house. Ah, there's power in the house. I feel the noise in here. Ah, that's power. I wasn't going. I wasn't planning on saying all this. But I hear God. That's like putting a band-aid on a wound that's bleeding profusely. You can't put no band-aids on something that needs to be healed. Boy, I wish I had a church. There's some people need healing in their souls. That's why your marriage ain't going the way you want it to go. Because you need healing. You need healing from a, whor- from a whoremongering spirit. You need healing, my God. My God from a lust demon. You need healing from a spirit of prostitution. You how you going to bring something that dirty in the something that holy, which is called marriage. Marriage don't sanctify you. Marriage don't heal you. I can't get no party. My wife don't deliver me. I can't get Are y'all quiet. My husband can't deliver me. Oh, who shall deliver me from this body of shit? His name is Jesus. Boys, I got a lust problem. I'm going to get married. So you depending on that spouse to heal you or your lust. No, they ain't the Holy Ghost. They are, they're not the Holy Ghost. I wish I had somebody to throw you Throw my five hands out. There's some people getting upset with me this morning. Well, don't blame me. Blame God because he orchestrated it for whatever his, his divine purpose is. He divined it for me to be here this morning. Y'all better hear what I'm saying in here. Get off the ceremony, baby. Let's get it to the spirit. Let's get down to the spirit. Let's get this thing right with God. Let this thing, let's bring our honor of our marriage back into the place of being honorable before God. Let's make our bed under fire. I can't get nobody. The whole monk in the Daughter. God gonna judge himself. God said you could be a whole mongering husband. You could be a whole mongering wife. I can't keep him in a daughter husband. You could be in a daughter's wife. I'm still gonna judge you. Even though you're married, I'm still gonna judge you. I wish I had a child up in this house. I shut up. Oh, oh, oh. I feel something down in my spirit. I throw your hair out here. Now you're getting offended because I'm telling you the, the truth. The question is, why I don't know how I'm getting here. Are you a wife or are you a girlfriend? Because wives don't contemplate leaving their husbands. Like a woman would with a one night stand with a man. Are you a are you a playboy to your wife? Or are you a husband? Cause a husband don't get a one have a one night stand and leave. You don't plan on leaving your spouse out of town. Okay, you don't plan on packing your bag. You just want to hit and miss and let me keep going back my way. But God, I'm gonna bring some. I'm gonna bring down some wrath of some discipline. Said the Lord, I'm about to bring down some chastening. Said the Lord. He said if they don't repent, God said to tell you, I'm about to bring some chastening and you ain't gonna like it. Said the Lord, I'm about to bring out some chastening. I'm about to bring out some discipline. I'm gonna get your attention one way. The other said the Lord, I wish I had about two of y'all to throw your hands up. God said, Anything else? Any, thank you. Anything you replace repentance with is gonna get you chasing. Anything that you play, replace repentance with is gonna cause the chasing of God. Because you replaced it with repentance, but you never repented. You can't do things and make things better. In the natural, without going to God first. And said, I'm sorry. I wish I had a church. How would this woman feel? I sit here. I, 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 I talk crazy to her. I don't cuss her, but I just, I just say bad words to her. I treat her. Un, I just treat her bad. I got the nerve to bring her some roses. I want to I want to fix it by bringing roses instead of fixing it by repenting and saying I'm sorry. I dogged all week, talk crazy to her, slam doors, bust walls with my head because I'm angry. Now all of a sudden, I just want to bring roses and say here, this is what we do to God. We offend Him. We don't want to repent. We want to have things. We want to have events. 
to, to, to make it better. Instead of coming to God, say, I was wrong, expose my heart. And that's what we do in marriages and in families and relationships. We hurt folks. We know we're wrong. But we want to do some good things to, to amend our wrongs. But you got to go before God and confess your faults to God and to one another for it to be accepted in the sight of... Let me go home. Can I... Oh, I hear, Lord. I, if people get offended with the preacher because he ain't compromising with your good ideals of making it better. You gonna have to repent. You got to come clean, said the Lord. I got. I'm gonna preach that. I might. I might do that teaching on on Tuesday. This my secret almost killed me. Yeah. You you got to come on out. See, see, you you, you know, it, it's sad, first lady, where, 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 when two people in a marriage commit adultery, one will, one want the other to commit, but the other one won't even admit it. We want you to commit to admit yours, but you won't admit yours. Ah, you got to be honest, both of us. We both was out. We had a church. We we well, well, I didn't commit adultery, but you thought about it. I wanted to leave because of what she done. I thought about leaving her like Joseph. But Joseph had a good reason, but you don't. I wish I had a church. Why don't you, why did Joseph have a good reason? She didn't cheat on nobody. So he didn't have a good reason. But he did. Because it's the will of God. You ain't got no good reason to leave. Why? Because it's in the will of God that you stay. Boy, it's quiet. Boy, it's quiet. Let, let me go. Sister Linda, I don't know how I got here. Can you tell me? Can you, can you brother? Can y'all tell me? How I, I, I got here. You, 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 you get offended when I start talking about your, your married bachelor spirits. Your married bachelor spirit. I don't hear the word of the Lord say, I don't care how long things look good. Things like it's doing better, things like it's going right. But God said that, that he said, if there have not been no exposure, no repentance, that good, those good times is built on sand. Because eventually the wind going to blow and knock it down again. You wonder what just happened. You know why? Because somebody building their security on lies. Boy, okay. All of a sudden, it's looking better now. See, oh, yeah. Okay, love it, love it now. And all of a sudden, whoosh, lose a car, lose a house, lose a job, lose some money. Huh? Then the real spirit gonna come out of him because there's some word they not have exposed <sighs> the sin. I wish I, had, wish I had. Let me go. I can't be doing this today. Let me let me hurry up because I. The Lord said only the people can answer this question. God said only those in front of me can answer this question. Yes, Lord. God said, what have you brought here and hid under the tent since you've been here? What have you hid under the tent? You shouted over it. You danced over it. You clapped over it. You, you, you spoke in tongues over it. You hollered over it. What, 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 what is it? The stuff you hid under the tent is what you were offended at. Your testimony has changed since you joined in between then and now. Because when you first joined, you didn't hear the word as strong as you did. But since you've been here for a while, you've been hearing this tough word and never stepping on your toes. And when you got a spirit of control, you don't like it. You got a spirit of leadership, but you want to lead, you want to be a leader in, in perversion. Then you fight the real anointing. Your, your, un, your undelivered spirit fights pure anointing. It challenges real anointing. I can't wait. I can't get no help. Because I because I fight against your genie in the bottle. Because I fight against your tarot cards, your, your crystal ball. Well, I ain't doing all that, but you got a spirit of control. You want to lead people somewhere you never been. I wish I had a try. You want to lead them to prayer, but you can't lead them to deliverance. Let me go home. You want to lead them to the Bible, but you can't lead them how to walk right. You want to lead them to the scripture, but you can't govern yourself by the same scripture you're leading them to. Y'all don't know what's in my eye. Listen, that's an anointing sitting on me. Y'all, 
don't dictate to what I feel. Hey, 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 hey. I, I have something I'm trying to keep it under for a while. Yeah, yeah. So, so you, you, can't even guide, you can't even guide yourself, but you want to lead others. And when you come in churches like this, you get mad with preachers like myself because I see you. That's it. I got three words for you. Watch this. To be offended, it means to be resentful or annoyed when you are offended with leadership. You are what? And what? Resentful. Have you ever looked at the have you ever looked at the word offended? Break it down. O F F. Right? O F F. Last word E N E D. When you get offended, you get an off ended. Okay. All right. When, when you are offended with leadership, you will be off ended. When a person is off ended with God's ministers and the movement of God, they turn off the deliverance. And they end the connection with the move of God. John the Baptist got off. When he get off, he got off his focus. Off his focus. He, he lost his focus because he got offended. What did it end? It ended with a wrong understanding. Offense will cause you to get distracted off your purpose. And offense will cause you to end your mission. It will cause you to end your testimony. I ain't just talking about that fake testimony. That one you wish to have. It, it, it will end that because you got offended. I wish I had. But what I love about God, Brother Robert, I know I, listen, I can go farther and farther. But what I love about God, he ain't studying. That's more folks say your feelings. Go on, throw your hand. <laughs> uh, uh, God ain't studying your, your studying your finish. What He wants for you to do is get delivered. He wants for you to come out with your hands up. I, I wish I had my two of y'all to throw your hands up. Mm. Hey, hey, I feel the anointed of God. Yeah, when, when the men, when John the Baptist disciples came to Jesus, and they said, John the Baptist told me to ask you, or, 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 if you, if, if you, are you the one, or, or should we look for one to come, or thou he that should come, or should we look for another, rather? And while they were saying that, the Bible said, in the, in the same hour, he cured many of their infirmities and plagues, and of evil spirits, and unto many that were blind, he gave sight. Now watch this, while John the Baptist disciples was talking at the very moment they was talking at uh, the, the, the same time it meant people being cured uh, of their infirmities why are you complaining I don't want to go to that church no more God said but I'm still delivering folks with plagues uh, uh, I can't stand so I look for another church but God said why are you talking he said to the blind is still receiving their sight God told me to tell I'm not going to stop what, my movement because you stop moving I can't get nobody. I'm not going to stop what I'm doing in the work of God because somebody got offended with the leader. So the next time you go and complain, just to ask yourself, wait a minute, did God still move today? Oh, he said somebody like, wait, wait a minute. But if the power of God, it still showed up anyway, didn't it? And while you talking at four o'clock, God said that word is still talking because he sent his word and healed them. So that same word you heard at church huh, is that same word that found you home huh, while you offended at the same time. I wish I had a church to throw your head up. I feel the north this morning. Huh. God said you keep talking. Huh. Oh God, the power of God is not going to stop moving, Sister Linda. I'm still going to work miracles. Why are you complaining? I'm still going to open doors huh, for my people. Huh. Why are you backsliding? I'm still healing those. Huh. That's so pressed with demons, huh? Power with affliction, huh? We just want to throw your hand up, huh? And give God some praise, huh? On this Sunday morning, huh? So in other words, huh? While you're talking, I'm still working, huh? In other words, get over it, huh? 
Get over your attitude. Get over your offended spirit. Get over your anger. But I'm still moving. I'm, I'm still moving. Yeah, hey, hey, hey. Go back and tell John. Yeah, no, 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 And so before Jesus said anything, the Bible is showing us why John had this attitude. At the same time, the Bible is showing us what is going on. In other words, the church gonna run with or without me. John, you in prison. Guess what? You ain't stopping nothing, are you? Why are you talking, John? Why are you talking? Why are you upset with the preacher? God is still anointing him. Oh, God, I wish I had a church. Why are you still talking about your neighbor that's sitting next to you? God is still working deliverance on it. I wish I had a church, my God. Why are you still talking about that brother in the church? God worked deliverance in him today. And God is working right now across the world. While I'm in McKinney, while I'm in McKinney, for, uh, minutes, uh, Brother Robert, while I'm in McKinney and complaining and offended, that's somebody in South Beach, somebody in California, that's somebody in Florida getting delivered right now. Can't find nobody up in there. Better hear me. I hear the word. I hear the word. Let's throw your hands up here. I'm going to get out your head. Can you hear me a little bit, Brother Robert? We about to go home today. God told me to tell somebody it's time to get over it. Time to let God deliver you. I didn't think I'm going to have no strength today. But I, God, He gave me the strength to tell you how to get over it. Can I get a witness up in here? Come out your sin. God said, get over it. Bump your secret. God said, get over it. Come out your self abuse. Come out your pornography come out of your love's triangle come out they find nobody come out of your adultery and your fornication come out of your whore and why you getting offended the work of the Lord is still going on Somebody uh, that got the right spirit. Uh, somebody with the right spirit. Uh, give him five. Uh, and say, neighbor, uh, I'm glad I got on it. Uh, my God. My healing didn't come. My healing didn't come. Till I got over it. My deliverance didn't come. Till I got over it. My change didn't come. Till I got over it. My understanding didn't come. Till I got over it. What you mean, preacher? While I'm sad. While I'm stressed. On the juvenile tree. God. It's still moving. God, while I'm speaking at this Sunday morning at 12 23, somebody around the world is being delivered. At 12 23, somebody in another country is getting the Holy Ghost. Wow! 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 While I'm preaching, somebody is getting delivered from all kinds of demons. I come to tell you, get over it. Get over it. Get over it. He did not come yet. Get over it. Get offended. Get over it. He didn't answer my prayer. So I'm mad. Get over it. He didn't heal my body. When I asked him to, I'm mad. Get over it. He didn't fix my merit when I thought he should. Get over it. I'm still gonna move. Whether you're happy, whether you're mad, I'm still gonna move. Whether the sunshine or the rain come, I am. I feel that power go. I'm still God. 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 If you believe it, the 
Hold your hands up and say, Lord, Lord, anyway, that you bless me. I'll be satisfied. I won't complain. I won't kick. I won't scream. I won't throw a temper tantrum. I'm gonna get over it. I won't get over it. I gotta decrease. John understood. I have to decrease that he may increase. What John didn't know in his early ministry was I gotta decrease that he may increase. He didn't know what he had to go through in order to decrease. And some of us, we quote things, we say things, we don't understand what's gonna take for that to happen. John, hey Lord, I'm your forerunner. Lord, I saw the heavens open. I saw the Holy Ghost descending on you like a dove. I heard, just I heard a voice cry out of heaven, saying this is my beloved son. Hear ye him. He heard it. And he said, wait a minute, I'm a forerunner. His shoes are not worthy of that. John said, I baptize you with the water. But what's coming after me, as mighty than I, to baptize you with the Holy Ghost. John said, I, I, I'm not the Messiah. I, I'm not the Son of God. I, I'm a messenger to prepare the way of the Lord. I am the one of God to get the people ready for the one to come. Then John said, I must decrease that he may increase. He kept on living. He didn't understand his decrease would mean to be put in prison. His decrease mean to be beheaded. And some of us don't have a good understanding. You don't have a good understanding about why you're going through what you're going through. You rejoice over the prophecy. You dance over the prophecy. When it came to pass, you didn't think it was going to end like that. But I come to tell you, I'm in my prophecy. It don't feel good. I'm in my prophecy. I'm being transitioned. While you're going through your transition, you get frustrated. Wow! You're going through your transition, you get weary. And God told me to tell you, wow! You're in your transition. Wow! You are weary. Wow! You were stressed. Don't backslide. Don't backslide. Don't forget what you saw. Don't forget what you heard. That's enough for me. I'm in a jail. If I can remember what I saw, it's gonna change me. And some of y'all, you're thinking it. You're writing your prophecy. You're going through hell. You're going through pain. You're going through a place where you feel you're isolated. You feel like I prayed and I prayed. I seem like I can't get an answer. I prayed. Lord, get me out. Lord, get me out, Jesus. But it looked like he didn't answer. It looked like he didn't come through. You got offended. You got angry. But God told me to tell you why you're angry. That same hour. Why you're angry. The fear of infirmities is being worked. Why you're mad. Plagues. An evil spirit. And blind folks is being healed. Tell the Lord. I don't understand it. But Lord. If you don't get me out, thank you for saving me. Thank you 
for the experience of speaking in tongues, for the experience of deliverance, for the experience of water baptism, for the experience of being filled with the Holy Ghost. I'm about done, y'all, but I feel it when you think I got a word for you. When you are in your prison and it seems like there's no answer, it seems like God's not coming, what you gotta do when I think of the goodness of Jesus and I he done for me my soul is gonna cry out in my prison what I think I could have been dead sleeping in my grave I thank God I'm still here I'm still I'm still I'm still I'm preaching to me I'm still in the land of the living I need some Somebody, get your mind off yourself. Jump in the flow. I need deliverance. Jump in the flow. I need a healing. Jump in the flow. I need my mind. He's in it again. Jump in the flow. He's moving. Why you crying? He's moving. Why you mad? He's moving. Why you offended? Tell somebody, get over it. <sighs> Tell them, get over it. <gasps> Stop crying. <sighs> he heard you the first time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. My God, I feel. I wish I could preach it how I feel. I, I really do, Sister Linda. Somebody got to help me now. You got to help me now. <gasps> push it out. <gasps> Brother Robert, you got to push it. <gasps> Push past the pain, push past the offense, push past the mood, get your deliverance, you gotta push past it, I'm not gonna charge you for it, cause you didn't pay my rent, I'm not gonna get mad, cause they picked up my car, I'm not gonna get mad, cause they laid me off, I'm not gonna get mad, cause I went down from a three bedroom to a one, I won't be Get mad, cause the car I'm driving is no longer new. I'm gon' praise you. I'm gon' praise you. I'm gon' praise you with the rocks. I'm gon' praise you with the rocks. If I don't praise him, the rocks is gonna praise him. I'm gon' praise him, Sister Linda, First Lady. I'm gonna praise God in my prison. Why you gonna do it? I'm gonna show the devil he's alive. I'm gonna praise him. I'm gonna praise him. But I know he's able. I'm gonna praise him. But I know he can. I'm gonna praise him. But I know he's a fixer. He's a doctor. He's a lawyer. He's a counselor. Yeah. Can you feel it? Can you feel it? Can you feel it? Some of y'all bent out of shape. Because your circumstances ain't changed. You bent out of shape. <laughs> yeah, no, 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 but it is Cause the thing you want is so bad Ain't what you thought it was Boy, <laughs> You want that thing so bad It's not what you thought it was But God heard the word God said don't get mad with the preacher Cause your personal life Ain't going right Don't get mad With the preacher Throw your hands up Tell him yes Why you talking, John? It's work happening. While you in your mode, you in your backsliding condition, God is still working. Then he said, I want you to tell John a message. 
Go back and tell John what things you have seen in her. So when somebody starts complaining in your ear about the church, tell that person go back to what you heard today. Go back to all the miracles you saw in that ministry. Yeah, when you when you start getting offended with the preacher. Yeah, when they start getting offended with the preacher, brother Sean, tell them to the, tell them to go back. See how many demons infirmity has been cast out of them. Huh? Tell them to go back and see how many souls been been saved and filled with the Holy Ghost. Tell them to go back while they in a in they give up state. God is nowhere near giving up. He's still moving. My God, I feel it. Ooh, God, I'm about at 80% today, but I, but I feel something down in my... Boy, I wish I could explain it. I can't explain it. I said I can't explain it. It's on the inside. Hey, how can you feel it on the inside? Out of my belly. Shall flow rivers high, of living water. High, rivers, high, rivers, high, rivers, high, rivers, high, rivers, high. Got it down my belly. Can you rub your belly? Can you stir up the river? I gotta stand up. I've been bound too long. I've been depressed too long. I've been sad too long. I've been discouraged too long. I've been offended too long. Stir up the gift. Stir up the river. Stir up the water. Let it flow out there. Down my road. But when I get in the flow, I get into the miracles. Tell John the lepers. Tell John the blind see. The lame walk. The lepers are cleansed. The deaf hear. The dead are raised. And the poor. The gospel is preached. When you get in the flow, these things can happen for you. God can't do nothing for you while you're in your offended state. He can't work no miracle for you like that. Y'all, y'all quiet. He, you can't be mad with your preacher and expect to prosper. You can't prosper like that. Huh? You can't be, of, you can't be offended with the hand that's feeding you. That you won't eat. A brother that's offended is hard to be one. I can't feed you when you're offended. You won't take nothing I'm saying right to you. Because you're offended. You, that's for, therefore, you're dying spiritually because you're not eating. Tell somebody to get over it. I'm done, Brother Robert. Thank you. Tell them to get over it. Mm. God said you can't fast over an offended spirit. You fasting, but you're still offended with somebody. You're so offended with preacher in the church. You can't fast while you're in sin. Fasting is for repentance, not to cover up sin. My God, if I have my strength today, boy, I, I feel I can't go, but I feel an anointing, Lord. I, whoo! Somebody got to get deliverance. You've been in the secret too long. You've been in that prison too long. Your testimony changed. Your testimony is out of context. You ain't talking sober no more. You ain't talking the way you used to talk no more. Because you, cause, cause you, you, you're offended. But you need to talk to God where you are. I, I'm going to teach you a lesson on, on Tuesday. My secret almost killed me. God got some word to that. Oh. God wants you out. Even though you might be in a prison, he wants you out of it. Might not be going things the way you want it to go. Things might not be going the way you want it to go, but get, get out that frustration. Get out of, out of that stress. Want to leave and just throw your hands up. I'm gone. Come on, that's why God ain't blessing you. Oh, get over it. I heard that in my spirit this morning. Get over it. Come on, get over it. How long are you going to be angry? How long are you going to be mad at your, at your grandma and granddaddy and mom and daddy and them? Get over it. Big old babies. Kids don't talk to each other for about five minutes and start back talking again. We ain't no better than children. We get mad and we talk to each other. Get offended for, for days and months. And you want God to bless you. 
Too old for that. You still in training pants. You still on milk. Well, I wish I had a church. And you ask what you're mad about? It's no really concrete reason. It ain't like they cut you. <laughs> or shot you or wound you. <laughs> you got a restraining order. They can't come around. That's different. But stuff with Christian, you know what, to be, what it means to be Christ-like? Christian, you know what that means? Christ forgave. Christ didn't hold no grudges. And I hear I feel like to tell you, unforgiveness hurts you. This offense hurts you. God said, Jesus said, if you want God to forgive you of your prayers, of your of your sins, you gotta forgive your neighbor of theirs first. You don't forgive them theirs, God won't forgive you of yours, and your prayers will not be answered. This offended spirit is cutting you, it's off ending your blessing. Get over it. Grow up. How much time do you think we got left on this earth? Grow up. I can't hear nobody. Sitting there mad at people. They even after they apologize. You got so much anger in you too. You can't even accept an apology. That should have softened it a little bit. I mean, might not, you know, after you apologize now, work toward, but at least the first thing you did was said, I'm sorry. They did, but that ain't enough. Hear the word of the Lord. If you can't accept the apology, you won't be able to accept the repentance. No matter what they do, you won't accept it. If you can't accept an apology, you won't accept the amends that they're working to do to make it right. Did y'all get that? Time to get over it. They don't want to talk to me. That's why I'm going to talk to you, though. You know why? I'm getting this blood off my hand. Why am I talking to you? Listen, I know you done me wrong, but I'm about to talk to you for me. Why? I want this offended spirit off me. So I got to tell you I'm sorry and it hurt. Boy, it hurts. Forgive me for my part, whatever I've done. Forgive me. And I know I did say something wasn't right on my, forgive me. You release yourself. Y'all hear me? Don't die in that bitter spirit. Don't be coming to all these services. You're offended with the preacher, offended with the first lady. Well, you'd be surprised who get offended with the first lady. I tell you, it's not always by the naked eye. You got to I can discern when the spirit is wrong toward her. I can discern when people's spirit change toward her. I can discern it. I ain't, ain't that I'm looking for it. I can just discern when your spirit change. I can discern when you change toward me. I can discern it. I can discern it. And that's why I'm telling you get over it because I ain't changing. <laughs> I don't care what you do. I'm going to keep preaching like I do. Get mad. I'm going to keep laying hands. I'm going to keep casting out demons. I'm going to keep laying hands on the sick. They're going to recover. I won't keep doing it. So get over it. Because I, I reveal the mess in your house. Get over it. Listen, let me tell you what I am. I'm like a big brother. See, a lot of people can't see what's happening. And so, so the enemy is taking advantage of their, of their lack of maturity and their lack of ability to see. But you got somebody that can help you. Help you see what you can't see. I'm like a big brother. I'll get him for you. I'm going to show you where he is. Y'all hear me? And some folks may get mad at the big brother for showing you. See, the devil like to, like, like, to, like, to, like to play on your lack of experience and development in the spirit. And so you try to hide what you can't see. But you got somebody, that's all right, I, I'm, I'm here with you. I, I'll let you see what you can't see. There's a Delilah in your house. There's an Ahab in your house. Y'all don't like me. There's a Jezebel in your house. I see her. Now, now she's manipulating you because you can't see. But I can see her. I'm trying to show you what you feel. You ain't crazy. I'm trying to show you you are under, your house is under a Jezebel attack. Brother, I, I, let me go. Is it get quiet again? You're under a Jezebel attack. Did ever put you to... Mm. Notice the only time Samson went to sleep deep enough when he came to finding out his strength. Other times when she's bonding with cars and all this. Samson, wake up. The finish line's before you. He wake up. But when she found out where his secret was, there was nothing to wake him up. The enemy will put a, a, sleep, a spirit of sleep on you when you're right at the place you're supposed to be. Keep right at the place you're supposed to be. And when the enemy has discovered your secret, that's when he want to put you to sleep. Make you drowsy spiritually. You're not aware of Watch this, this drowsy spirit. It will try to make you drowsy at the wrong time because he's trying to steal something from you. 
It's time to pray. You too dry. I'm just, uh, that's the moment you need to go pray. Because he's planning a trick. You in church, you can't even stay focused. You know why? That's a Delilah spirit. Making you sleep at the wrong time. You better rebuke that. Let me go home. So I think I made some folks. I made the offended offended. Boys. <laughs> I made the offended more offended with me today. Wait, wait, we'll get over it. Look at your name. What's your name? I love you. But you got to get over it. Find somebody else. Tell them. Tell them. Neighbor, I love you. Anybody watching me on film? Anybody around you? Tell them. Get over it. You watching now? Type that in the comment section. Get over it. That, sh that should be your word for the rest of the year. <laughs> when you start pouting, there ain't nothing going right for me. God hands my prayer. Mm. Mm. That it is, man. No. Man, listen, I ain't for the feeding of that. Oh, you okay? No, I ain't for that. You okay? You, you done now? Okay. You, you done? Yeah. Get over it. That's, what, that's your attitude. Because I don't want to miss. Oh, God. What he's doing. Yeah. Hey. I'm trying to, I'm still trying to feel where the fasting people is. Because if you fasting right, you won't be that. Uh, I'm just trying to find out who really fasted right. Maybe you fasted in offense. And the glory couldn't shine like that. Mm. I'm, I am a protector. And I say things you might not like, but you cannot help but bear witness to the truth. You might not like it. You might get mad. And I'm trying to show you. That's, some, that's, that's going to have to be some repentance. It's going to have to be some changes of actions and confessions. Y'all hear what I'm saying? You can't, just, you can't just bring God flowers and bring people flowers after you hurt them. You got to break it down. Y'all hear me? Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Y'all ready to throw your hand up? And one, one thing we ain't going to do, I'm going to go when I get through. I, I, we're not going to live a lie. Why pretend to be happy when you're not? Come on. Let's be real. Mm. We throw our hands up. See, I, I feel sometimes when I get into the prophetic first lady, sometimes people try to push me out of it. I just feel like that. It, you, you, everybody have done it. Somebody, y'all, most of y'all done it before. I hope you don't hit that. I hope you don't touch that. Just don't go too far now. You in it? Oh, don't go. I've said I felt that. I felt people have people have literally tried to make me like I'm lying. What? what? That didn't work. I kept on talking. <laughs> I'm supposed to go. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, uh, the more you go, <gasps> the more I go. Okay. They try to run you off of the revealing. You know why? Because they don't want healing. When you want to be healed, you will find a prophet that's not going to talk about your cause. Oh, Radway family, God told me to tell you it's more than a ceremony, it's something in the spirit that's got to be attacked and addressed. The Lord said, I've put it in your spirit to let you know something is off. And the Holy Ghost told me to tell you, don't ignore it. He said, I come, I come to reveal so that I may heal. The enemy knows, he knows y'all are young in the ministry, uh, in, the, in, in, in the gospel. You, you know, you're young, you're, you're babes. So what he does is he tries to play on, he tries to play on your lack of experience. But the Holy Ghost in us, you can come on. Even though I might be inexperienced, the Holy Ghost in me is not. 
So it will begin to speak when something is off. God said, y'all have to, he said this couple have to handle what's off. Because you can go on and on and on and act like it's not there, but it's there. Don't let your love prevent you from handling what I told you to handle. Don't let your love for each other cause you not to take care of your responsibility when it comes to fixing what you can't see, but you know is there. I wish I had somebody to throw your head up. God say yes they love me yes they love me but there's something there that I put my finger on and I need you to address it I cannot bless you no father until you address what's going on on the inside that's buried under the tent if I'm lying I will set myself down I will quit preaching today but I ain't lying and I ain't gonna quit preaching God said, don't ignore it. God said, don't ignore it. Handle it. Because they did not destroy the Amalekites. They had to come back. They came back and fought David. And killed his house. Took it, oh, not killed his house. Took his children. Took his women. Took, took all their home. Took, all, took them out of, out of Ziglag and took them home. Had Saul deal with the Amalekites earlier. David wouldn't have to deal with them later. God said some things you got to kill. If you don't kill it, it's, you can't knock it unconscious. God said you got to kill it. If you don't kill it, it's going to hunt you for the next 10 years in your marriage. You got to kill it. You got to kill it. You, are you understand? If, if I'm lying to you, I would sit myself down. Are you, are you witnessing with my spirit? Because I'm talking to you. You got the right to tell me, Pastor. I, I'm out. I, I will respect that. Why am I saying this? Because God said, I love you. I come to reveal what needs to be healed. God said, I got, I got to heal. Hey! If I throw your hands up and give God some praise. Oh, The serpent has been in your ear too long. He's been talking to you. Adam wore a vow. Wore a vow. He handed me fruit. What's the fruit? I'm okay. What's the fruit? Nothing. You okay? No, I'm, I'm fine. Fruit. I can't get nobody. Are you okay today? Yes. Feeding you a fruit. It's not the reality. The snake is talking. And God said, the Son of God was manifested for this purpose. That he may do what? And God said, I've, I've qualified. I called your marriage. He said, I stamped it. I approved it. I called it. It's sealed. It's signed. It's delivered. I'm pleased with the marriage. But as an interceptor, it's trying to come in. And you got to get it. Somebody throw your hands up. Give God some prayer. I, I'm hearing him. Y'all don't. Y'all, I guess I'm just too, too far a place for some of y'all. Y'all, y'all right? Y'all right? Head down, la ma shando. He ba ba ma 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 koda la la ma shi ti di di o shabai. Go throw your hands up and give God some praise. Hey, la ma God said, I'm putting your spirit back on track. The Lord said, the enemy have tried to knock you off. Ain't to my sin. Everything ain't sin. So y'all don't think it's sin. I don't pick up no sin. Can you understand that, right? We so sin conscious to everything sin. But, but the, the enemy have tried to throw you off. He tried to throw you off, but you keep going, but it's, your spirit is sinning. It's almost like Joseph. That's not quite the case, but, but your spirit is troubled. You know, what should I do? You know, this, this Mary here pregnant and say what about the Holy Ghost? I think she cheated on me, Mary. My father, I, I, wanna, I don't want to put her away um, publicly. I want to put her away privately. I just don't know what to do. And so it's in the case of cheat, but I'm just saying, it's in a thought of like I'm troubled. What do I do? And, and I hear God say, it's the trouble that comes at night too. God said it comes in your sleep. It comes, sometimes you land there, you, you can't rest because it's a troubling. And you can discern it 
and you can feel there's something going wrong and going on in your atmosphere, but you don't have the glove big enough to catch it. Like, like your ability to discern can't fit into that big glove that can catch that big thing. But God said, I'm bigger than anything. I'm a God that can, y'all got to throw your hands up. Oh, how many love the Lord today? I'm going to help you catch it. I'm going to help you catch it. I'm going to throw you, I'm going to help you catch it. I'm going to throw your hands up. I'm going to help you catch it. Mm, I'll throw you. Come on, y'all ain't praising God. It's going to take honesty. It's going to take prayer. It's going to take telling the devil where to go. Y'all hear what I'm saying? I can go deeper, but I'm not going to go deeper. But I know what I see and God, what God say to me. And I can't go too deep because I prevent warfare. But God said, tackle the spirit. I, I signed, sealed, and del delivered your marriage. I stamped my approval on it. I'm a, I approve of this. The enemy hate it. The enemy don't desire for you to be happy. They, you, I'm going to tell you, the devil hate to see any little blessing come to y'all. The devil hate to see it. But don't let the enemy. Ooh, bring, God said, bring it back in. Bring that, uh, bring that focus back in. It's too much going on. The Lord said it's too much on the outside coming in. You got to bring your focus back in and work with him. Mm. Because the enemy is designed to run you off. And you can't let him run you off. How many love the Lord today? Can we give him praise today? Can you thank him for getting over it? If I give you a word that you don't like and you know it's true and you get mad, can you just get over it? Come on now, I ain't gonna lie to you. And if, if, I'm, if I'm talking to you, if I'm ever talking to you and you don't feel like I'm right about what I'm saying, tell me and I'll stop. And I, well, I think I would. <laughs> If God tell me to keep talking. But if I'm talking to you and I feel like you're not receiving it, I'll just shake my dust off my foot and I go to the next person. Amen. But I can tell when there's an attack coming. Hola mandoro bo shande. Can we can we give him the praise? Come. Oh! Yeah, my mama And just telling the truth is working something. It's it's knocking down walls. Hallelujah. Can we can we thank God? Oh, not live stream. Hey, Ryan, what is all the way, bro? Praise the Lord. Y'all praying for me?